we have a definite integral, let's go ahead and work it out. Solution. So uh, we need to make some type of u substitution. And the obvious choice, I guess, is this piece here. Because if we let u be equal to 1 plus the natural log of x, then du is, well, the derivative of 1 is 0, and the derivative of ln x is 1 over x dx. So you need to have some foresight when you're picking your u. You need to pick a u that's going to lead to a du that somehow appears in the integrand, and it does, right? 1 over x dx is right here. Uh, before we rewrite our integral, we need to change the limits of integration because these limits are in terms of x, and now we're changing everything to u's. So let's carefully do that. So we'll start with the 1. So when x is equal to 1, let's work out the u. So u is equal to 1 plus the natural log of 1. And the natural log of 1 is 0. So this is 1 plus 0, which is 1. And then now we'll do the upper limit of integration. So when x is equal to e, we end up with u equals 1 plus the natural log of e. And that's going to be 1 plus 1, which is 2. All right, now we're good to go. We have the definite integral. Uh, let's see, when x is 1, u is 1. When x is e, u is 2. Got to be really careful. And this piece here is u to the fourth, and then we just have du. Wow, that cleaned up nice, right? This is u, and it's being raised to the fourth power, and then this piece here is just du. To integrate this, we'll just use the power rule. So this is u to the fifth over 5, and we're going from 1 to 2. And first we plug in the 2, so we get 2 to the fifth over 5. We subtract and we plug in the 1, so 1 to the 5th over 5. 2 to the 5th is 32, so 32 over 5. 1 to the 5th is 1, so 1 over 5. And 32 minus 1 is 31. And that is the final answer.